All right, what is up, Sumolings? This is Chris from AppSumo. We're gonna get going in just a few minutes, but yeah, if you are already in here, feel free to let us know where you are joining us from and we will get we will get started soon. All right, Ivan, how is everything looking on your end? Okay, so we can start, right? Yeah, I will, uh, let me give a quick intro for everybody and we'll get started. So uh, what's okay. going on, Sumo Links? It is, it is Chris from AppSumo. We are also luckily joined by Ivan from Copyrightly, which is currently in the AppSumo store right now, lifetime access for just $59. If you are not sure what Copyrightly is so far, it's an SEO content tool that helps you write perfect copy um, that works for search engines, helps with your search engine optimization. And it's also great for people reading your content so they can follow along and get that put together well. So as I said, we have Ivan here. I'm gonna turn it over to him and he will be doing a walkthrough for all of you so you can figure out how to get the most out of Copyrightly. If you do have any questions, feel free to drop them below the video where we have the questions tab. Um, and yeah, and then we'll get to, we'll circle back to those questions at the end once we finish the training. So thank you all for joining us. Ivan, the floor is yours. Thank you for joining us. And I will let you uh, take it from here. Okay. Hey, hello, everybody. Yeah, Ivan, it looks like it's and, still a, uh, a bit right I, now. We're the seeing... first thing I want to do is uh, to thanks all Sumolins, right, who give us feedback on AppSumo page. And we get a lot of uh, features and bugs we uh, need to fix. And uh, your feedback uh, give us a clear strategy where we should to go. So the first thing I I see that uh, somebody already asked the questions, and this is the most popular question that uh, uh, how copyrightly differs from web text tool. Uh, I have an answer on this question, and now I will share the document with you where you can find even more answers. Uh, I'm sorry. So uh, the difference between web text tool is that um, a web text tool is a great tool, but it uh, has no uh, a few things which um, which we think are really important for SEO optimization. This is like a, a plagiarism check, keyword density check, and keyword usage check, and grammar check. Uh, how why these two are important, right? Uh, I will show you right now. For the first thing, uh, for word. Uh, goals copyrightly is the best. I have a few cases, use cases, uh, and uh, we now will try to uh, examine each of them. For the first thing, if you write, write a lot of content using your freelancers, so in this way you should uh, often to control them and um, uh, make sure that they write a proper uh, plagiarism free uh, content. For example, I will take a page from our another tool and paste here to check how good my content is uh, uh, here. So I see that our do is bad. How we can improve? Just your screen share of the the webinar. Uh, could you click into the? Let's see. Oh, there it is. Cool. Yeah, it looks it looks good on. Some things, right? Please. Uh, how good is yes. audio? Yep. I guess like uh, one of the questions that came in down below. I'm not sure. It looks like we got an answer in there, but they said I am not a native English speaker, so I need a tool that will help improve my writing fixing style. Grammarly Premium is good for that. How do you compare so do that good, requirement right? in mind? So how well does this well, my words for non-native yeah, okay. English speakers? So uh, we just paste the URL and um, our tool extract the content from this page uh, so we can check how good this content is to rank high. Uh, the first thing we see is uniqueness and uh, this is plagiarism report that uh, give us a few options. The first thing you, you can uh, do with that is uh, to make sure that uh, your content is free. Maybe some of the, your competitors 
uh, just uh, copy paste your text and add it to, to the own website. In this case, you should uh, you can a few things. The first uh, thing is uh, to create DMCA uh, complaint, and the first uh, the second thing is uh, to ask him uh, or her to just uh, add a backlink to your website. It's often uh, somebody can share the minds you wrote and uh, without backlinks if you find that somebody mm -hmm. do it you can awesome. uh, um, for a that is and the, the great last great question that i see on here you, you answered all the ones that i saw so coming through on the chat and, so and, is uh, anybody the, else the if you got any other questions why, like feel free to if post them now otherwise answers, we are going to wrap this up content. Um, you can so check we'll give you a minute to do that they, um, write a unique well, content or just, do you have any uh, final thoughts that you want to you want to share from other Ivan? sources so uh, this why for a reason is yep. uh, just uh, tap right in our tool so the second thing is keyboard stuffing and um, how it can help you we found that um, our competitors like that text tool uh, cognitive seo grammarly they have no uh, such uh, detail uh, parameter and evaluating of the keywords. We created this step uh, so because we found that uh, server specialists are uh, right uh, often take more attention to the content optimization that uh, simple writers right and that's why they often get more organic traffic that even better uh, write uh, writers. So if you write a good content take attention to keyboard density and sometimes you need to add more keywords you need or just um, uh, fix stuffing. So I have a page and uh, we, say, we see that um, videos is uh, used uh, very often. That's why it's a good idea just to rewrite these words or make them uh, use some synonyms and you see that after you edit the content, we copyrightly article checks all parameters you have. So you don't need to check something else. Uh, uh, oh, you see that video become uh, so a few. A little bit and you see right that uh, the keyword density percentage is decreased after each recheck. Okay, I get I get um, got the in uh, point right and um, you just need to highlight keywords that are marked as keyword spam and rewrite them using synonyms and or maybe even delete them uh, so what's important why keyword stuffing is also important is because uh, google hummingbird uh, penalty is so it was uh, launched in 2013 and uh, previously this date right uh, Sales specialists, webmasters, website owners often uh, write content and just add a lot of keywords that they want uh, to rank higher. After this update, Google is uh, much smarter and uh, now she uh, it uh, now Google understand we will use keyword stuffing to rank higher and can uh, create a penalty for your website. That's why. Uh, this will really important if you see that your impressions or clicks in Google Search Console were dropped. It's uh, the best thing is just uh, um, take one page that is the most popular and check it for keyword stuffing and to make sure that there are no uh, a lot of uh, keyword spamming words. So the next thing uh, is redundant phrases. Uh, this step is. Uh, not about um, self optimization, but about and um, 
conversion optimization. Uh, the reason is that some words are not uh, such valuable as others, and uh, this often that uh, you don't need them. This means that you, if, even if you will delete them, your content becomes just better. So then, you see, and the next thing is uh, readability. Oh, uh, the one important thing is also if you control some of the writers or content writers, you can check how often they use redundant phrases and evaluate does they write a really good content or they uh, were just um, using words for word count, not for the not for the meaning of the content. So the next one is readability. And here we have two indexes, right? The first one is Garden Fork indexes. Uh, here, no suggestions, but uh, this is just uh, um, calculating how good, how easy your content to read. Garden Fork index shows, uh, um, it, cal it calculates, depends on of, uh, language, languages of the words and sentences and flashing is uh, calculated dependence on um, word passage. So if you find that your content is academic, that means that uh, it's uh, good just for a uh, specific audience, right? It's better when your content is uh, easy to read for wide audience. And if you find that um, there are a lot of um, passive voices used, it's better to improve the content because it's um, most likely it will be difficult to read it. And when for user it's difficult to read, of course the conversion is uh, decreased. So rhythmic monotony, it's also similar to readability. And it means that um, if some of the paragraphs or the big uh, parts of content are written with um, such manner as um, short sentences and there are no ballads, uh, or somebody formatting, uh, will uh, I'll correctly I suggest you to divide it on some box and add more uh, sentences with uh, higher lengths, right? So this is about um, readability, but in another case, I guess that um, we will uh, Combine in the future the built and rhythmic monotony because a lot of users and sumolings uh, say that they um, they are really similar. So the, uh, the next thing is relevance and keyword sumolings. I saw that they uh, say these uh, caps are similar, and we also merge them. Uh, a few cases to use this tab, right? Um, imagine that uh, you have a, a page, for example, you found it um, in Google Search Console. And uh, you ranked all of your pages via uh, clicks and impressions and found right a YouTube keyword tool, you see it here, uh, that it, uh, this page brings a lot of impressions and clicks and um, most likely there are uh, words that um, Google rank you for, but you have no, uh, uh, you have no that words on your page. Uh, a few things. So what to do? You just export all uh, search terms that your page rank uh, to Search Console. You copy them. And you enter them here. So here you can find that um, some of keywords that um, you, are, you get, them, get from them a clicks, uh, they are not in your content. That means that uh, there is high probability if you add them to the, your text, you will get uh, even more uh, clicks. This and an very easy, uh, very easy task, right? But uh, Google still for Google is still important. Uh, does you 
use uh, do you use a specific key keywords or not for example we found that there are no tag in the router in the content it means that uh, i will research the content and add them where it's really relevant uh, for the user for example uh, how to use the best youtube tag in your router so we check it one more time we found right that uh, this word uh, already here so we all did all of this all this list step by step and add keywords that aren't used uh, for the content just uh, change the content create your page and you'll find uh, out that in, in a week after google re-indexing uh, you get more clicks it's very easy but uh, uh, little people do it and uh, that's why it's burn results so i see that some of users are for plagiarist content so for example right um, we have plagiarism report right and when you click on any one minute You can find uh, out that uh, plagiarism check is um, it takes uh, much more time than others check is because um, you know how to uh, compare all others um, content on the web with this content that's so that's the reason uh, so we click on the point and uh, you see directly highlight all parts of the content that as uh, looks like uh, a little bit uh, plagiarist what does that mean that you can just go to this uh, source where we find the plugin content and uh, i'll do that you can check when the, this page was uh, published when it was updated uh, and to check does this uh, competitor use your content or it's simply a, um, this becomes uh, just a, um, without a um, clear goal to plagiarism, right? So we found that is uh, this um, a famous uh, tool, right? But look like that, uh, they caught our page, but just um, used a few sentences and phrases that um, we also use. So the next thing with the second writer, you see, right? If you if you proofreading some somebody content and uh, your goal is to publish a really unique content, in this case, you should um, manually rewrite all the parts where uh, plagiarism detected, right? Uh, so our page is really unique, right? It's uh, eighty seven percentage of uh, uniqueness, and uh, some pages can be really one hundred. And in this case, Google um, will create a penalty, it's most likely. So the next thing we go, I I showed, right, that uh, how do you can use your Google Search Console data to get more um, get and impressions only in a week. The next thing is morphology. Uh, I saw a few video read, I found that um, a really few people understand how to use it and um, the big case that we will uh, delete this step uh, why we added uh, it in the past the reason is uh, some of our uh, specialists use it to make sure that um, they use enough uh, different uh, type of words right but um, we'll delete it and the last and thing is grammar in content check uh, we get a lot of feedback about it because um, um, some uh, compare us with grammar right with pro writing app with Hemingway app and um, they often question how we differ from grammar in fact grammar really has a bad algorithm to detect uh, grammar errors uh, they have personal dictionary 
but um, we uh, sure that we better for people who traded on traffic but not uh, only writing a good content so we combine grammar and all important things for website owners, uh, bloggers, uh, anybody who uh, write a content and want to get organic traffic. In grammar thing, all you should do is just uh, mark a keyword and um, you can write it manually, right? Change it, or you can just click on the words you should is uh, write, and then it uh, will be correct automatically. Uh, the problem is we don't. Uh, um, have a big base of own names, right? Brand names, and we will work on that. We will add uh, more data on that, and uh, we will create a personal dictionary as Grammar has. The thing that um, you can, if you open a, a Google Doc that I have sent, you can find that um, there is a big roadmap, uh, and we will step by step add new features and fix all bugs you have found. So. This uh, all about creating a great content, right? And there are uh, one tool that another tool, right? It's SERP keyword research. That uh, is um, a separate tool, but a lot of Somalians uh, say that they want to um, get keyword suggestions exactly on this screen, right? So we decided that we will merge them and um, high probability will add it to this tab, right? So after grammar, you will see keyword suggestions from Serif, keyword suggestions from Google, and you will click and find out um, what else to, to add to your content to rank higher. Right now, this feature works uh, just as a tool, but it's a great uh, thing for keyword research and comparing your competitors to your page. For example, uh, so the question why we should uh, paste uh, no one keyword but three, two, three keywords. The reason is uh, often um, one page uh, can rank uh, higher for one, one word, another page for another word. If we create um, three keywords, we get a more relative uh, SERP to our and uh, our website. You see here yeah, that I enter in the keywords that are relevant to the page that I checked before. So language, it means um, uh, what language of the Google search we will use, right? And search engine, and this is um, what um, Google we will use for um, comparison. So, and paste your URL. Uh, no. What uh, now uh, I will do is uh, uh, just Scraping the SERP, right, and checking on which uh, which websites are ranked for each of the keywords. So we uh, see our competitors, right? Uh, Keyparser.com is our website, and this website are our competitors. What to do the next with that? Uh, right here, we also should to mark um, what domains to use for comparison. Why to do is is this because often uh, Google create a um, SERP that includes uh, different types of uh, domains, right? The informational, commercial, navigation. That's why it's often important to mark just one of, um, not all domains, but just uh, that are relevant to your uh, content. So we see that uh, looks like all of these uh, pages are relevant to our page. We will, we will use all of them. Click Next. So now copyright, we just uh, compare 
compares all of competitors of the mark and show what title, uh, what uh, keywords they use in title, description, h1 tag, the content, and uh, calculates the average uh, text length, right? Uh, and average length of uh, title, h1 description, and keyword density of the keywords I just entered. Right? You can find that uh, sometimes uh, competitors uh, use keyword stuffing um, with a clear goal to get uh, better positions. And in some cases, it, uh, here can be even five, six, ten percent of keyword stuffing. And this means that um, maybe you also need to use the same thing. In other cases, you can find that it's often one person. And in this case, you can find that uh, keyword density is not a, 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 a ranking factor, right? There are um, more important ranking factors like backlinks or maybe brand mentions, etc. So here you find that um, we show uh, the most used uh, phrases, right? For example, for title. And if you want to create a content brief for your freelancer or your subordinate, you just uh, mark this keyboard for title, for description, for h1 tag, for uh, uh, the body content, right? And after that, marking uh, all of the things, you write a few notes about what to do with this content. Uh, for example, you can write, uh, take attention to the first competitor. It has a great uh, content structure, so uh, try to um, repeat some of the uh, best cases from this website, right? And when you write uh, some uh, some tips uh, how to write how to write a great copy, and this uh, by these keywords. After that, you just uh, click next, and now copyright creates a word file, which you can you, which you can download and send it to Upwork or Fiverr or any other else uh, freelance marketplace or even your subordinate. And when your freelancer or else will write this content based on your requirements then you can check and um, make sure that all of your requirements um, were used, right? So uh, the history page, uh, this is um, the page just to navigate uh, with all of the tasks you have uh, already done, right? If you just um, used two tasks, it's uh, not important, but if you write a lot of content, every day especially if you are a agency or maybe you are your commerce website so some, it's important often to um, come back to the content you already write and uh, rewrite it or uh, simply to um, delegate uh, some of the work to your subordinates and keyword unix identifier it's there's also a great feature to use with search console right for example when you paste the list of keywords here, you get a list of unique words that, uh, in general, all of these phrases include. How we can uh, use this? You also can paste, uh, copy it, and enter to keyword check. In the text, we already saw, right? A few seconds. So we paste a list of unique, right? All of them are unique. Check how often they put it in the text. And we found, right, some of them are also zero. Uh, include why we can add them and again get more traffic and clicks. So uh, I guess you got uh, 
the main point can you write in the chat uh, how would uh, uh, you understand what i mean so i see that many uh, many answer the question can be integrated with upwork and fire we will uh, think about it this is a great idea right um, we have a feature map to add team collaboration and this team collaboration means that uh, you will have opportunity to share your uh, content share or main task with a freelancer on upwork or fiverr and after he finished the work you can easily uh, make sure that everything is right right it's save a lot of time and um, if uh, we found that it's really popular feature we will um, move it to uh, first thing we do so will it work on microsoft word mail and other apps but now we have no any integrations right but we see that a lot of are asking for wordpress plugin and uh, microsoft word and email we begin with wordpress plugin and then we will um, we will see how how uh, many users will need it in email and microsoft word so mm -hmm. Stephanie uh, asked me, uh, it seemed that you could use this in Amazon. Yeah, you really can use it in Amazon if you know how to rank higher, just writing a great content. But I know that Amazon really needs not just a great content, you need to create a really a comprehensive description. You should add more details about the product, right? And a lot of things you should do, not just a great content. But a great, uh, it's a good idea, yeah. So many again uh, asks, uh, can you set up it and um, use it um, for freelancer? They should work without even checking them. Yeah, this is a good idea. But uh, API is like, uh, just an instrument, right? You need to, um, the first thing you need is create a clear content brief and after they finish the writing we create an alert that um, content write clearly and you don't need enough um, more right can we export content to markdown format this thing is already uh, often asked by some links. we add this feature to our roadmap and in a maybe in a week in a tool we'll add it uh, you can export you will can export uh, content not just markdown format but i guess uh, as uh, words in a doc format like and a pdf format so uh, back to our roadmap right uh, here all features and bugs uh, summa links write us and questions and a uh, chart and support uh, we and divide them on in similar uh, blocks, right? And let's uh, dive in each of them, highlight um, a few words each in each of them. The first thing we, we did is uh, we highlight, uh, we increase word limits, right? For all apps on plans. You, you can find that um, our usual visitors, our usual clients, uh, has uh, a little, um, um, has, um, Less word limits that Epsom. Uh, so uh, so uh, we now work on to make uh, tool work um, better with a big limits of words because there's there is a reason that is really difficult to uh, check uh, for fifteen thousand thousands of words uh, for all parameters we have and recheck it every six or ten seconds it's really difficult so we are working on improving our hardware and software now so but in online editor i saw that uh, some complain on automatic actions um, uh, work wrong and we are working already on i guess it um, two three days and uh, uh, these things will be fixed 
So the often also question is box with you really important because there is bad quality of code and some of users write it uh, web text tool and um, cognitive cell and others uh, our computers they have better URL import. So I check that and um, that they import cognitive cell for example right they import the whole HTML code. So they, you can, you see a lot of scripts, uh, unnecessary information, and it's really difficult to write the content, and add, to edit the content, and to concentrate on what you really need. And uh, web text tool, uh, I found that uh, URL import. Um, I don't check how really good they use uh, pages to use um, website builders, right? Like Elementor, Visual Composer, and other that have um, they do. Um, own uh, editing of the code when you're creating uh, the text. We also see on Evernote uh, tab, right? When you, I guess you know about Evernote Web Clipper, and this feature also helps to extract any page you, you see uh, on no, extract the content and save it to your Evernote. Uh, I guess we will. Um, learn all of our computers and we will improve this uh, feature because uh, this is really used often used and it's especially especially important because we have um, an right chrome plugin that helps to launch you um, content audit just in one click for example uh, you have an open page right with content you just click on icon and it launch an audit in your copyright account so it's really easy and um, you know we we're working on improving the URL import. So a few seconds you will see how it works. So that's it, right? You just click one uh, time and uh, the clear record is uh, already ready. I attached a link to iron right here so you will uh, um, download it. So the next thing is um, the load and edit text in doc format PDF and HTML. I already said about that that um, we will working on uh, that thing and uh, we'll edit in two, three weeks, I guess. Um, so new languages. This is also the uh, feature that we are uh, differ right from our competitors. Most of them are work just with English, but uh, we now work with. And uh, Sumolins um, give us a lot of feedback about adding and use new new languages, and you can find uh, which of them we will uh, see. Uh, there is a twelve new languages we will thinking on adding: Polish, Deutsch, Danish, Arabic, Portuguese, Brazilian, UK English, Indonesian, Italian, Greek, Chinese, Vietnamese, and Thai. Uh, for us uh, to add a new language is near one month you know and it takes some time so i can guarantee that all of these languages will uh, edit uh, uh, quickly but we uh, necessarily will work on that so new search engines right it's this is the uh, part of sub keyword research tool and um, there are four uh, requests about adding google s uh, google from brazil google from india and google from malaysia uh, new search engine uh, gives even more time than new language uh, in content check. That's why we it takes uh, more time. So, but we will add them also too. Uh, we're glad that uh, this feature are popular, and that's why we work on it. So, team collaboration. This um, may be one of the key features that um, we think are important because uh, there are three types of team collaboration we can add, right? The first one is uh, giving access to different types of your content. For example, you work on different websites, right? For example, you are an agency and you want to give access to different clients. Uh, that's why we maybe uh, use just text for each content and you will give access to a specific tag, right? To a content with a specific tag. Um, the next thing is restrictions for uh, administration, edition, and view. Uh, this is like a Google Analytics um, collaboration works, right? When you can give access uh, to the whole rights that you have uh, and manage users and all. 
and the second one for addition, uh, and the next one just for view. The third thing is access to work with only one document. This uh, what we already said about um, um, giving a class for freelancers on Fiverr, Upwork, or um, any other freelance marketplace. So keyword suggestions. Uh, this is users are really uh, sad that our website checker uh, is uh, as a separate tool right now. Yeah, we will add it to content check. You will when you will uh, check your content uh, work on it, uh, you will get suggestions on the tab right here yeah I guess this will be easily to work on and and the combination of all of these parameters is will um, our unique feature because our competitors have just one of them or a few of them so the next thing is integrations right uh, so WordPress plugin is the first thing we will work on the second is Google Doc we found that uh, a lot of writers agencies website owners start creating a content from Google Doc and then just import into uh, own CMS right so the grammar thing is there are three things we should do the first is personal dictionary Right. Then uh, the opportunity to remove and ignore grammar errors. Right now you can do that. And uh, this, the last is improve grammar suggestions. Yeah, uh, we have no. We have um, we have uh, sometimes grammar suggestions are wrong, uh, and that's why we should um, improve our uh, base, right? And our suggestion to get a level like grammar and. Um, uh, providing aid and others computers. So plagiarism. Some of some links ask us about uh, can we show the date when a um, similar content was published, but um, we can detect um, on our website right now. But you also uh, can do it manually. Just uh, how to do it? Just uh, clicking on the competitor, and then. And then just uh, view which the source of this uh, page, right? So when uh, this was published, uh, and um, when this page was updated, for example, we found that this page was published right uh, on the uh, 14 January uh, this year, and that means that uh, we uh, published uh, published our page uh, much uh, recently. Uh, that's that um, um, the most competitors uh, can uh, to use our content, right? But if we found that uh, the content was published um, um, a few years ago, our just one year ago, that means that. Um, uh, they can uh, send a DMCA plan to for us, right? Next thing is more documentation and how to fix guides for each parameter. I guess that um, we will how we will resolve this issue is um, we create we already have a knowledge base on the desk right now, but uh, we will create it in Hub Scout and we'll integrate it in our chat. While you will work in with the tool, you can. You will can um, just uh, paste in some question on your chat, and our knowledge base will answer any questions. Or, of course, our uh, support team will have uh, will, will ask for, for questions. So, and Facebook group, right? We just uh, we created it uh, today, and you can find the link here. Um, join to the group and write questions. We will publish all our product updates uh, uh, there, right? And if you also have some cases, some questions that uh, we aren't, um, we didn't answer on our pages on our knowledge base, you can ask uh, there. And I guess uh, our team or even somebody holding the right, they will help you. So uh, we also thinking on divide documents onto projects, folders, and maybe tags. Uh, this will help you to have your structure and dashboard. Um, on which websites and which landing pages you work on, and it will uh, be easily to navigate between them. And the strategic question we think you know, 
is to leave just limits by words without limits by documents. A few simulins ask uh, about that, but um, this, the thing that we really should uh, to, um, we need time to understand how it um, works for us, uh, right, on a long term uh, destination, uh, in the long term time. So I guess uh, this uh, whole thing I wanted to do, uh, I wanted to say. So, have you any questions uh, that I can answer? Uh, I already said that Grammarly really has a better um, a gra algorithms to detect uh, grammar errors and errors, right? So if you need uh, just proofreading and uh, nothing about cell, nothing about traffic using keywords and uh, um, etc., you can use grammar. But uh, copyrightly is better to combine all of these parameters, right? Like plagiarism checking, grammar checking, keyword density checking, um, readability, relevance. Um, we're working on creating a great tool to work with content to get more traffic. So uh, the next thing, we also will improve our grammar, right? So if you uh, have any doubts to buy copyrightly or, uh, or grammarly, I will say copyrightly because we will improve uh, our grammar checker and uh, We'll have more parameters. thoughts right so um final thought is this uh, is the following the first thing i sent to all some who take part in um, discussing and trying all of the switches, right? And I want to um, say that we will really um, deploy uh, great uh, features, right, uh, in uh, one month. For example, we can fix a lot of uh, bugs and add new features, uh, uh, Sumalins ask, uh, in, a, in a one month. And uh, in that, after that period, they already can use it as a um, um, perfectly uh, work tool, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to say that if you write, if you like our roadmap, right, and if you feel that um, these features is what you need for your um, business or uh, subordinates, uh, for instance, so uh, join to us and we will help you to grow your business um, faster. Be sure that the people who will use copyrightly will grow faster in the organic search than without us. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, well, we did not have any other questions come through, so we can close this out. Ivan, I want to thank you very much for, for taking the time, hopping on and, and doing that training. I think that's really helpful for the people that were on here. It seemed like they got a lot out of it. Sumo Links, thank you for joining us. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them on the deal page on AppSumo. 
Again, you can check out Copyrightly on AppSumo.com. Just go to the browse page for the store. You can check it out there. Let us know your thoughts. Give it a try. Um, and Ivan, again, thank you so much for hopping on. And we'll be talking soon. Thank you. Thank you to Chris. Thank you also for waiting for your reviews on the AppSumo. Goodbye. Awesome. Bye-bye.